Short stroking is a very common mod in the high kappa community. It is a very affordable mod and it can get you great results. Simply put, short stroking is decreasing the amount your slide has to cycle while still managing to chamber a BB. The advantage of this is you get a much faster cycle rate so people find they can shoot a bit quicker with this mod. One disadvantage that has to be mentioned is if you short stroke too much, and it's very easy to do so, you do lose the slide lock on empty once you have ran out of BBs in a magazine. Uh, a lot of high caper players aren't bothered by this, but this is just something you should know before doing this mod. It is not permanent, it can be very easily reversed, so don't worry if you want to get slide lock at a later point. So here's a little visual example. I've got my high caper here that I use for my work, and I'm going to show you what you want to be achieving with short stroke. With short stroking, ideally, you want to make sure your slide goes back far enough to cock the hammer just, and then carry on back forward. On a stock setup, the slide moves much farther back than it needs to after cocking the hammer, and this is to enable slide lock. However, a lot of players don't find this necessary, they don't need slide lock. So to eliminate that, you short stroke so that the slide goes back only just far enough to cock the hammer and not any further. So now I'm going to show you how you can go about doing that and maybe the best combination of buffers you can use. I'm going to uh, be grabbing my kit and we'll talk about that for a moment. This is the kit I'll be using. It is one that I make and sell on my website. There'll be a link in the description if that makes your life a little bit easier, just for reference during this video. So to short stroke, what you need are typically these small little circles that sit on your guide rod. And this just shortens the amount of uh, space that your spring can compress in. Now in this kit, you get three of the yellow softer buffers. They are a bit thicker than that of the black buffers that are here, of which you get five. And then you also get these two metal washers. So what are the purpose of these three components? So with different thicknesses and degrees of rubber, you can achieve different recoil effects with this kit. Using more black can get a much harder kick, but also still just as fast on reset. And with yellow, you can actually soften it. You can make it much smoother and maybe give less recoil. Now the metal washers are to prevent your spring piercing these buffers. If your spring has too much tension, it might pierce into these rubber buffers and that's sadly just the nature of it. With these slim metal washers rested on top of your short stroke buffers, there's no chance of your spring piercing them. So next I'll show you how to disassemble your high capper and install these and the different combinations you can do like I mentioned before. So first off you want to remove your magazine, then you want to pull your slide back so that this notch here on top of the slide matches with your slide release, then flip it to the other side and push on the slide release pin. This will make it pop out. You can remove it, set this aside for later, and now your slide will move forward. Just put your lower somewhere else for the meanwhile. Now that you have this, you want to remove your guide rod, your recoil spring, and your guide plug. I find the easiest way to do this is to push down on my nail on the guide plug, catch it again under here, and just pull it through like so. You can put your slide to one side, we'll be needing it again later. So here you have your setup, you just remove it like so, and you can put these two pieces to the side also for the meanwhile. So the guide rod is what you'll be resting your short stroke buffers on. Personally, for my actual build that I use, I use a balance setup, which is what I recommend everybody start with and then tweak from there. So to do this, you get one black buffer, put it on top, one yellow buffer, put that on top, slide it down so they sit nicely, and then another black buffer. Now with these on top, you then add your final metal washer because we want to stop the spring piercing our buff kit. Then you simply get your spring, Slide is on top, same with your guide plug, and now we want to reassemble it back into the pistol.
just like so. And then next, put it back onto your frame, pull back this so that this notch matches up here, put in your slide release, and now it's short stroked. It's quite as simple as that. So now that we have the short stroke set up and we know what we can achieve, we can go to tweak it a bit further and make our lives a bit simpler. So maybe I want a bit of a softer recoil. Well, simply we could just remove some buffers, put on a yellow, add in our metal washer and reassemble. So as you can see now, we have a slightly different recoil effect, and that's just by changing out these buffers. So this kit allows you to have a lot more tuning with your short stroke. We can go a step further. There's actually a very cool unspoken trick that we can do to allow for even more short stroke. So as you heard in the beginning, to take apart this high caber, you have to align this notch here with your slide release in order for it to pop out. However, this slide release here is what stops you from short stroking even more. So one alternative is to take out your slide release. And just here, you can see this little sticking out triangle. Now this little triangle here stops the slide release moving out of your frame. However, in an almost all cases, this is absolutely unnecessary and can be totally filed away. I actually have a slide release pin here that I've done that with. As you can see, it's just ever so slightly filed down. And so the advantage of this is your slide doesn't have to be set back at this little notch here. You can simply just put it in and it sits. It's not falling out, it sticks just where it should be. So that's a little tip you can use for your high capper if maybe you want to put even more short stroke in. Now that you don't need to pull back your slide to disassemble it and line it up with this notch, you can short stroke even further to let's say about here. As long as your hammer is reset backwards, there is no need to have that notch on this release. However, with short stroking, it's worth mentioning that you will need to invest in a better nozzle return spring. A nozzle return spring will ensure that your nozzle comes back quick enough to keep up with the short stroke, otherwise you are going to run into feeding issues. So it's worth looking into something stronger than the TM one. I would recommend anything from 140% to 150%. The other good thing about short stroke is it's not a permanent modification. If you're not happy with the effects that you're achieving, or maybe you want to go back to slide lock, all you have to do is remove the buffers and you can carry on just as normal. If you have any questions regarding short stroke or the kit that I showed, please just leave them in the description. I really like reading your comments. I'm very happy to respond. You guys have been very supportive and I'm really enjoying making content for you all. I also have a website where I sell products such as my short stroke kit, a high cap, a recoil spring, uh, some lubrication for your airsoft guns, and some other cool components that might benefit your other airsoft gats. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.